You can find the Eugene Weekly all over Eugene, except in local Albertsons grocery stores. The newspaper recently found out it's banned from circulating their printed editions in those stores. KEZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez spoke with readers who are not happy. Many readers I spoke to are very upset that they won't be able to get their Eugene Weekly from their local Albertsons like this one behind me on Hilliard Street. They say the decision to prohibit the Eugene Weekly's distribution was a mistake. Kind of makes me want to go get a stack of Eugene Weeklies and stand out in the parking lot and distribute them to whoever would like one. It's a part of Cedar Jernigan's routine to head down to her local Albertsons and get a copy of her favorite weekly paper. But now she won't have that chance thanks to the ban. According to the Eugene Weekly, they became aware of the ban about two weeks ago when one of their drivers reported to them that Albertsons staff had told them the paper was no longer welcomed at the store. Camila Mortensen, the editor of the Eugene Weekly, told me the reasons for the ban was political. I guess they see us maybe as liberal liberal politics um, in the stores. Um, and maybe that's sort of in keeping with some things you've seen like Facebook and other places where they see news as divisive. Um, in all honesty, we do as much arts and entertainment as we do news. I did reach out to Albertsons for a comment on the situation. They have yet to reply. Jernigan sees the ban of the Eugene Weekly as just another form of censorship. She also believes this will lead to some sort of public backlash since the paper is so beloved and important in the area. Um, I myself will definitely email and or call the office in Bend to tell them that uh, I think it's wrong. While the move to not allow the Weekly inside the store is shocking, it isn't the first time something like this has happened to the Eugene Weekly. Coming up in the 5 o'clock newscast, I'll share some examples. Reporting in Eugene, Julio Mora Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News. Julio, thank you.